The Raspberry Pi was first released in February 2012, intended as a low-cost teaching computer for schools. The original even had a TV output as well as an HDMI monitor socket. Over the years, it's evolved through five generations to be a far more powerful general-purpose computer module, which still has the same credit card-sized footprint as the original. Over 70 million units have been sold. One of the reasons for its popularity is its easy connectivity with external hardware, motors, switches, LEDs, alarms, and so on, via the 40-pin general-purpose input-output header. There are three main variants of the Raspberry Pi. First, there's the standard version, the latest being the Raspberry Pi 5 with version 6 in development. This has two camera ports to which you can attach inexpensive high-resolution camera modules, four USB ports, an Ethernet port, two HDMI monitor display ports, a micro SD card socket, and a PCIe port for a fast external solid-state disk. It also has a Wi-Fi module. It's powered by a standard USB-C connector for a 5-volt, 5-amp power supply. Next, there's the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a cut-down, much cheaper version. It has a USB port, an HDMI port, a micro SD card socket, Wi-Fi, a camera port, and a power socket, plus the all-important 40-pin GPIO header. Next, there's the Compute module. This is aimed at system integrators and industrial applications. It does not come with any USB ports. All peripheral input and output and video connections have to be added via 200-pin connectors. Lastly, there is the Raspberry Pi Pico. This is a microcontroller board designed around a proprietary chip not the Broadcom CPU used in the main Raspberry Pis. The standard operating system of the three main variants of the Raspberry Pi is a version of Linux Debian Raspberry Pi OS, but this does not run on the Pico. Here you would have to run either without an operating system at all, or use a real-time operating system such as FreeRTOS.